Hello guys, welcome back, Seth Honan here, this is the Daily Grind, this is Saint Seiya Awakening and the Arayashiki Shaka is, event is in full force and I haven't had any luck pulling him. This video is an update on the tier list for the Chinese server. Like, the most recent developments over there have changed the meta in a very significant way. And many characters that were not used so much anymore have made a comeback. Also, there are uh, new mechanics. <coughs> they introduced a divine cloth crafting system that modifies certain stats and certain skills of several characters, several old characters that had already fallen out of the metagame. Um, so, right now, because I keep reading this and people keep asking this, what character should I develop? Well, first and foremost, you have to have a PvE team that can tackle up to floor 8 of Ruins, Dimension, and Titans. And once you clear Titans floor 8, then you get access to the Elemental Shrine. And you have to have a team that is capable of beating at least, at least, the easy level on the Elemental Shrine. So, <clears throat> first you have to bring to 5 stars and level 70. I haven't done so because I'm not really playing uh, that deep in this version. I'm trying to get back to speed on the Chinese one because it's, it's picking up steam. And we have the official international version coming out in the coming months. Like within a month we'll have news. The pre-registration for Knights of the Zodiac starts the day after tomorrow. It's also going to be run by GT Arcade, something I'm not a fan of, but it's the only way we're going to get the international version, so sucks to be me, I guess. I have to endure GT Arcade, and I don't like the way GT Arcade is handling the game because they don't give you time as a player to build your characters, like everything is going fast, 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 and the burnout is already uh, starting to feel for some players. Uh, anyways, on to the tier list. Characters that you need for this game. You're starting out, you don't know a thing about this game. First, you're going to need a PvE capable team. Because you have to gear, you have to level, you have to equip your cosmos for your characters. First, you have to get to level 22. And then, you have to kind of race to level 31 so you get access to seal tower as soon as possible. So you need a team that is varied and capable of tackling different scenarios. So you're going to need this Eagle Marin as your main healer when you first start out bring her to 5 stars level 70 and leave her there as soon as she starts healing for over 7000 HP points you are done with this character you are never going to use her again especially for PvP uh, she's a crutch if you depend on a healer that much for PvP, that means your characters are really underpowered compared to your competition. And if you win because of a healer, that means the other guy just doesn't know what he's doing or he's underpowered relative to you. But the healing, though it has a place, you shouldn't rely on that too much. Then you're going to need a damage dealer and for the most part, Skilla Eo is your best bet when you're starting out until you get one of the heavy gold saints. That's Doko, Shion, Ayolos, 
or Taurus Aldebaran, with a special mention to Pisces Aphrodite. You get any of those five characters, you can start uh, switching EO down a bit, but you can safely bring this guy up to level 80. He's going to service you throughout the entire game's lifespan, especially for those Legion bosses in the beginning. You're going to have more shards for EO than you're going to have for any S card. So you can skill him up and all you really need is to get his skill of power to level 3 and you're set for life. That's all you really need. You, uh, as you can see, I have even gotten away with not fully developing his 7th sense because he doesn't really need it. And the steel kicks like a mule. Then, as soon as you get him, this is not um, mandatory, but if you get him early on, bring Daedalus up to 5 stars and level 70 to depower the bosses and transfer that power to your teammates. Uh, he doesn't see a lot of play on PvP later on because he's too squishy. But he can serve you in a pinch while you are working to get your roster varied enough. Then, uh, this is another character you're going to get fairly early on. And also it's pretty cheap because you only need to uh, awaken her 7th sense and bring her passive chameleon breath to the highest skill level you can because that reduces damage that she takes and uh, she's pretty cheap in Cosmos too because you only need heavy defense and lots of HP uh, but this is a character that you're going to need early on another character uh, Appendix Kiki that's his actual uh, sainthood thing he's the, the saint of Appendix um, for energy, situational, you are going to drop Kiki later on, but he comes on and off the meta depending on who you face. Uh, some team compositions require that you bring this guy, but you can supply his role with the legendary Cosmos Rock. So it's not mandatory either, but it's good to have, and you're going to get tons of this card, so you can bring his skills up. Uh, this one you don't need to bring to 5 stars, but you need to bring her to level 60. And this is mostly for Titan Floor 8, and then you are done. Uh, once you pass, you get past uh, Titan Floor 8, you can strip her of the Cosmos <coughs> you have, and you can stop investing in this girl. She worked for PvP early on, but now that Araya Shiki exists in the game and all the whales have the character, she's useless. She's not going to work for you anymore any longer. So get rid of that. You're better off working with uh, Whale Moses and Bear Geki. Now, if you get your saints, if you get your gold saints, uh, Doko, Pieces, Shion, or Aldebaran are characters that you're going to need to tackle those heavy, heavy uh, floors and the Legion bosses. When you get one of these, you can start uh, stop developing some of the other guys because you need to get one of these one heavy damage dealer you need at least one uh, before you keep tackling stuff shura of capricorn can work in a pinch and some people like milo scorpio i don't like it that much because just like Taurus, he needs two turns to really get going so it kind of forces you to bring Luna in. And sometimes uh, you can skip Luna for certain stuff. Uh, if you go to Ar Araya Shiki, 
then you pretty much have to get your Luna to top speed that's five stars six stars full level full speed uh, and that's pretty much uh, what you need if you have a Raya Shiki the the new Virgo Shaka uh, all you need is Kiki, Luna, and Arayashiki, and you can tackle everything in the game with just that. Because of the amount of damage that this guy can deal in a very short amount of time. In fact, uh, I'm gonna. Uh, if you search through the channel, I did a showcase on Arayashiki a couple of weeks ago, and you can pretty much follow that. Um, like just for farming training hall that's worth the, the price of entrance to to finish fights in in the first round up until level 60 yeah that's pretty much worth the the price of admission because it saves you a lot of time also he is very very good Arayashiki to clear the seal tower now for PvP purposes, uh, then you have to start working on certain characters. Now, the most universal ones are Doko, if you get him, work on him. Araya Shiki, he's going to work for a long time until the divine clothes are out. So, if you have Araya Shiki, work on him. His best cosmos are still yet to be made available, but you should do well on working on him right now. That's a safe bet for six stars and level 80. Uh, Mu, Aries Mu, if you got him, work on him. Yeah, uh, he doesn't look like much. On PvE, he is not really helpful, but for PvE, for PvP, I mean, he is one of the uh, staple powerhouses in this game like yeah later on there are going to be better characters and everybody is catching on how to deal with the barriers and whatnot but still still that's a very good character to six star and maximize then if you got him Xion also safe bet is going to work until the end of the game he is still meta in the chinese version very situational because you have to have a certain build of around 100,000 hp points or else he's useless because you you have to bring this guy to be capable of creating for around 80,000 hp points like steadily but yeah, he's going to work for you well into the end game. Uh, Athena is also a character that doesn't look like much right now, or if you only have her four stars and, and you are trying to use her as a damage dealer, that's not her role, but she is going to bring the pain, keeping people from dying and cleansing uh, debuffs along with Arayashiki. Also a character that is difficult to use but is still very meta, has its uses depending on the enemy team. Uh, his real problem <coughs> is energy management because he is a very expensive character but the Pope the Pope can single-handedly win you fights if you can land the Satan Imperial on the heaviest DPS on the enemy team. Now, uh, from the A cards, the guys that you want to up for PvP are Lizard Misty. Just make sure that he has a lot of speed, that he breaks at least 500 speed when you finish with him, and that he has over 60 status hit that's the minimum he needs uh, to get going but this is a character that is that has been going in and out of the meta game but he always manages to return for one reason or another 
and he also works, works well with you. The other guy is a sleeper. Not many people use him. Uh, but this guy is also coming back now that Golden Hyoga is out, at least in the Chinese version. You can work with him uh, right now. Or if you don't intend to level him up just yet, just keep storing his cards and increasing his skills. But this guy, this guy also works for the Canon Meta. This is a, a guy that many people sleep on, but he's very, very helpful later on. Also, a character that many people dismiss because they don't use him correctly. But you want this guy also as much status hit as possible. If you can go above 100%, that's golden but this guy this guy is gonna last you until evil saga at least that's how good this guy is uh, one of the heaviest control in the game just make him with a lot of defense a lot of hp and a lot of status here that's what you need with this guy because you want him to tie the heaviest damage dealer or the heaviest support on the enemy team for two turns stride. And there is no way of getting rid of the chain unless you kill him. That's why you want him as fast as possible, like 60,000, 70,000 HP points after 8 cents launches. You want this guy to be as fast as possible and with the heaviest defense that you can afford. So there is this, this guy. It, also, if you're planning on, on playing Canon and you don't have Arayashiki, this guy improves a lot with the Cosmos that are coming out. The Rosaries and the Hummingbirds turn this guy into a killer. You can work him with Canon if you have Canon or you can work him with Babel just right away for PvP is still a very very heavy attack that, that you cannot get rid with Arayashiki uh, what another character that you might want to work on uh, there's this the crane because at top end she hits for a ton of damage and she gets to a strike out of turn very very heavy if you want uh, if you have a team composition that uses very little energy but that everybody uses energy you can slot the crane in and she is wonderful now uh, guys that work for the pvp right now they are going to stop working for a bit then they come back and then almost a year away from now you're go uh, they are going the way of the dodo finally uh, not many people like them <coughs> because the characters themselves are not very uh, uh, popular but whale moses build him as fast as possible and as much status hit as possible because uh, these two guys, Whale Moses and Bear Geki, get a stone that cannot be purged. So if you, you can actually slot both of them on the same team and, and build both of them as fast as possible with as much status hit as possible. Doesn't matter what the speed is, uh, but you want to be able to stone people reliably like as high as possible like 70 or 80 percent status hit at least just so you can stone people left and right because this thing cannot be purged and they both hit pretty decently when they are built for end game so those characters are the ones that you're going to see used until the end of metagame like you still see these guys rolling out 
at the Amir Championship over at the Chinese version. Right now, the meta changed heavily because of Divine Clothiki. Uh, but that's so far away in the future that you can safely invest in these characters and, and you will see your PvP improving. Like, let me finish building them. Uh, so far, I stopped working on Whale Moses, mostly because I started getting uh, a lot of Misty cards. But now, now I got a lot of Whales, so I'm good again. And <coughs> I have to work on his Cosmos like this. But if you can slot, in fact, I gave some of the speed P stone to Misty, and I'm trying to to get new P stones with the speed. But this guy is a killer, and you're going to see in a couple of days after I finish building his cosmos, uh, just how good he is at end game. So, well, that's all for the video right now. Um, I haven't had luck with uh, Araya Shiki and I'm still debating whether or not to continue playing this uh, but that really depends on whether or not the international version the one with American Times comes out within a month or not because if I get any more S cards then I don't see the point on starting over like I already got Doko and Shion so I'm pretty much set and the game already gave me the Pope. So I have pretty much all of the meta tunes from the S cards. I'm just missing Shaka, uh, Araya Shiki, and that's mostly, uh, I don't really use him for PVP on the Chinese one. I, I use him for grinding the PVE missions because he's very, very good at that. Uh, but anyways, Hope you guys enjoy the content and I'm going to be uploading more um, Galaxy Duels right now. Last month I got to Immortal but I couldn't stay in, in Immortal because I'm already facing whales with 3 or 4 level 80 characters. So that's out of my league right now. Like even if you have the perfect control set up, <coughs> uh, it takes too long to bring their health down. Like you have to focus fire on one while trying to control the other three. And it's right near impossible. So I'm gonna check after this week when I up Xion, because I'm, I'm gonna go with Doko and Xion to level 80 and then bring uh, Athena to level 70 and see how it goes from there because at least the B cards and the A cards you can kind of leave at just level 60 right now uh, and they still work. Your control tunes do control, they, they don't kill people. So you can get away, you can still get away with a level 60 support tune and it will work out for you. So um, remember to leave a comment Subscribe if you like the channel, leave a like on the video, leave me your comments, your dubs, uh, your questions about the game, and as soon as possible, if it is within my power, I will answer back to you directly. So, see you around. See you next time. In the meantime, keep grinding on.